You're listening to WJHS 91.5 DU. Welcome to Media in the Making, a podcast where we look at the evolution of media from 1600 all the way to present day. In this podcast series, we ask, how have different forms of media evolved and changed culture? Media in the Making, where media and culture are always changing. Now, let's take a step back in time. Today, we are talking about how radio affected jazz, but first, imagine a world without radio. How would music be spread around from person to person? I asked this question because radio was a great way to spread various types of music such as jazz and still is a very effective tool to find new pieces of music today. Hello, this is Logan Kylander and you are currently listening to 91.5 D Eagle. Today we are going to discuss the evolution of jazz and how the evolution of the radio affected jazz. First, we are going to look into the evolution of the radio. Radio was first invented in 1906 as a means of a communication in the First World War, which is from older techniques such as spoke signals, Morse code, or even letters sent by foot. Radios allowed for signals to be transferred clearly from one station to another without the need for risky or unreliable methods. Even though all of this sounds nice, radios had one major flaw on the battlefield, getting damaged, which happened quite fr- frequently. Landmines, tank shells, and bad weather would leave radio lines damaged, meaning clear and precise forms of communication were rather uncommon compared to radio communication of the modern day. The first civilian radio broadcasting was called KDKA. The first time it aired was April 11, 1921, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It was on that day, they commentated on, on a football game and a boxing match. Jazz, on the other hand, doesn't have a specific date for when it was invented. All we know, that it was invented in the early 20th century. It started specifically in New Orleans, and it had very diverse styles mixed into it, such as African Caribbean, French, Italian, German, Mexican, and American Indian influences. Jazz was just a mixture of dances, but eventually instruments were added, such as a saxophone and a piano. Radio had a very positive impact on jazz. You may ask why it had such a positive impact on jazz. Well, it's because the radio provided an outlet for people who have listened to jazz, enjoy it, and experience it for the first time. So they got to hear some of the most popular jazz musicians, such as Bessie Smith or Louis Armstrong. Eventually, people wanted to listen to these phenomenal artists outside of the radio, so they bought their albums, which millions of people in America did. Just to give you an idea how popular jazz was with Americans, Bessie Smith's first album sold 2 million copies. Just think about that. The radio helped her with her success due to the fact that people who usually didn't listen to jazz got to appreciate her music across the country. In other words, the radio helped her reach a wider audience than she normally would in person. <laughs> The Eagle. We hope you have a good rest of your day. Media in the Making is brought to you by WJH, WJHS 91.5 and the Eagle Tech Academy Media Classes. Media in the Making, teaching you about the evolution of media throughout history and its effects on culture. For more from the students, more podcasting series are on the 91.5 website, WJ, WJHS91.5.org. Thank you for joining us.